Hello, hi, welcome to Kaiba, and this is The Hell with the Ugly. Now, The Hell with the Ugly is a point click adventure game that's set in 1950s Los Angeles and has you playing a character called Rock Bailey who has to investigate his own kidnapping and other nefarious things. We'll see what nefarious things very soon. Now, this is a demo version of To Hell with the Ugly. The full game is planned for 2023, but until then, we have a demo out, so let's check it out together. New game. All right, keyboard controls, nice. Oh, we also use the mouse. I came to inside what seemed to be a taxi, engulfed by the powerful odor of pipe tobacco. What am I doing here? I said. I was going to ask you the same question, the guy replied, the taxi driver. At the moment, I patted my pocket. I've got everything on me. I'm dressed, I also noted. Well, I should hope so. Seems like you've been having an odd night. You've got no idea, mate. What time is it? About six o'clock. He looked at me with concern. After the pause, he added, You got a hell of a bum there, pal. That was an understatement. I was messed up. One eye that wouldn't open. And kidneys that jive with every pothole the damn cab bumped over. But at least I was alive and far from those creeps and their electric gizmos. Where did you find me? Was I alone? You were on the ground, flat on your face, and out of the count in an orange plantation. You're dang lucky, I like to take a break there before I start my day. It smells nice, and the blue chaffinches sing sweetly. Can you take me to town? We're on the way, like back against the... Okay, that was fast. Did we black out again? What happened? No? Okay. I guess we didn't black out. A Vernon Sullivan story. By the way, I mean, you can see the visual style is um, very distinct and amazing. To hell with the ugly looks great. Stands out so much, it's, uh, it's not believable. Here you go, son. We're here. Thanks for uh, getting me out there, uh, out, get me here alive. I don't know what I'd have done without you. It's not often that you get drugged twice in the same night. Take it easy, though. You're tough, but you're looking a little pasty. No problem. I'm sure some of my friends are still around the Zooty Slammer. Okay, son. Here's my number. If you ever need the help or a ride, give me a call. That could be helpful. And the Sigmund, right? That's me. Rock Bailey, good to meet you, Andy, and thanks again. You're welcome, Rock. Until next time. Alright. Quest started, a well-known face. So we have... I missed a great deal of the last of last night's party with this kidnapping. If I'd found a friend, surely they could inform me about what happened. In our inventory we just have the guy's card. Okay. Okay, I can also run if I want, but let's walk for now. We have to walk before we, we, we run. Hi, how about the hot dog? I'm so hungry. Getting kidnapped is hungry work. What's that, son? Uh, nothing, just talking to myself. Right, but I'm kind of broke. Maybe I'll come back later. Sure, whatever. Yeah, I don't have any money. Orange, one dollar a kilo. First of all... That's some. If it's 1950 Los Angeles, it would be a kilo. It would be, you know, a pound. But yeah, also one dollar. With inflation, today oranges are three dollars a kilo. Or fresh orange juice, one dollar everything. Hey, handsome, one dollar glass. Want some? I'd gladly say yes, but I'm broke. Hmm, you don't look very well. Rough night. To say the least, I'm trying to make ends meet and I could use some vitamins. Hmm. You see the newspaper still over there? That dirty old man is always after me when I take the paper from him. I'm not in the mood to put up with his looks today. If you get me the paper, I'll offer you a drink. Oh, okay, deal. Thanks, handsome. Nice, okay, sure. We got another mission. Mission after mission.
Ah, Clark, finally a friendly place. Fred Flace, even. How are you doing, buddy? Hey, Rock, there you are. You vanished last night, and me and the others, we were wondering if, um... Hey, you're covered in bruises. Covered? Let's not exaggerate. Nothing can cover this charisma. But what happened to you? We all thought you'd finally fallen for someone, but, uh... <laughs> a lot of bunk. Of course not. I was kidnapped. What? You're not deaf yet, Clark. I went outside for a breath of fresh air after my little uh, talk with Sunday Love. The next thing I remember is accepting the worst cigarette of my life and waking up completely naked in a very strange hospital room. A uh, hospital room? Rock, buddy, what kind of night have you been having? Well, I'll keep that for myself for now. The important thing is, it's over. But now I have to find a lowlife who drugged me. Did you see a tough guy, kinda big but wiry, hanging around the club last night? Hmm... It was a pretty busy last night. It was pretty breezy last night, Rocky. I gotta say that that description could bring a lot of Zooty Slammer customers to mind. That's true, he was pretty run of the mill. Just my luck. Anyway, where are the others? The gang? Still at the Zooty Slammer. Perfect. Maybe they saw something you missed. Because you were too busy checking out some skirt. Come on, Rock. That's not my style. <laughs> not your style, right? Why are you hanging about outside, by the way? I was getting tired, and none of the girls really wanted my company anyway. Come on, Clark, a nice boy like you. That's the problem, Rock. I've got nothing but nice to offer. <laughs> Can you tell me more about last night at the Zooty Slammer? Good old Lem Hamilton played all night long. It was eclectic. Ele eclectic. Electric, even. Jesus. When I think he used to be in Leatherbird's orchestra, we're lucky he decided to open his own club, huh, Rock? Yeah, we've had some mighty fine times at the Slammer, and Lem knows a great crowd. How dumb am I? I should go talk to him, don't you think? Who knows the customers better than the boss? You're probably right, Rock, but you know, it's been hours since the bouncer got orders to not let anyone else in. You'll have to wait, or try to convince him to let you in, but I wouldn't bet on that. Don't you think my natural charm will be enough? Well, I'd certainly advise you to use all your charm, especially considering the guy often has a bad case of the munchies. No? Well, alright, got it. Well, Rock, I gotta leave you. I gotta get some sleep. Good luck with your investigation. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. And... Quest finished, and we got a new one. Let's go back to the party. Darling Diner. It's not like me, but I could really snarf a burger right now. Too bad they're closed. <laughs> Good news? And another missing person. How many does that make? The fifth is the beginning of summer. Any witnesses? Hey kid, you wanna know? Buy the paper. Mm. One copy, please. 20 cents. Yeah, I don't have that. Gee, I'm a little short. No money, no news. Great, okay, well, we'll find a way. Hurry up, kid, I've got a meeting in 15 minutes. Right away, sir. Another missing person. Government Kingerly is going to have to explain himself. Was What was that, sir? Nothing, nothing, buff. Buffing, sir. <laughs> Buffing. The Zooty Slammer, a jazz club. This is where we hang out, usually. Yeah. Hi, I was here last night. Can you let me in to join my friends? It's 7 a.m. I know, but there's still people in there. Maybe I can go inside and finish the night with them? Mm, I don't like repeating myself. Scram. No, wait, wait, wait. Maybe I could do you a favor and you could let me in? How does that sound? Mm, what favor? You tell me? Oh, no, kid. You're the one who wants to go in. You've got to have to sweat a little for me to agree. I'm not in a good mood, so watch out if I'm not happy. Alright, well, probably he has the munchies. I'm sure a little snack after a hard night's work could do you some good. Now you're talking. My stomach thinks my throat's been cut. I'll get you something right away. Now that we have anything, we don't have the money. Mm, okay, let's run a little bit. So what can we do? Well, let's talk to the... The only guy that has food, really. The hot dog guy. Hi, have a hot dog. Not for me, but for the Zooty's bouncer. Ah, he's coming back to his senses. Come again, old timer? 
He's been turning his nose up at my lovely hot dogs for a while. He told me he found a new way to eat. What a crock. Hey, I'm so made up, he can have it for free. Well, well, uh, he owes you one, I guess. Well, that was easy. That was very easy. We got a hot dog. Okay, cool. Maybe now, for money, let's ask... Uh, I mean, I don't... <laughs> he's helped me already, but... Hey, I'm back. Need my services already? Uh, no big deal. I'm just looking for some change so I can give the orange seller the newspaper. Maybe try flowers instead. If that was it, I'd do things differently. I'm just helping her out. Usually, I'd have uh, bought it myself, but last night uh, left me kind of short, you could say. Ah, uh, I see. Well, I got a few coins here. That should be enough. Help yourself. Huh? Well, I guess I owe you another one. My pleasure, Rock. Well, this Andy guy is so nice. So nice. I mean, he gave us... Okay, some coins. That's good, right? Hopefully, it's at least 20 cents. And I can give the bounce to the hot dog. But let's uh, let's do the mission for the um, the juice lady. One copy, please. Twenty cents. Here's the cash. Great. Now get lost. You're blocking out the sun. <laughs> People tell me that a lot. Really? He's a little bit full of himself. Rock. I mean, with a get with a name like Rock, you know, he has to be a player. A smooth talker. Still on the newspaper? Sure, handsome. Fresh morning news. Oh, you're a sweetheart. Here, a little pick-me-up. Don't hesitate to come back to see me. Huh? We got the... Uh... Hey! You, you're really useful when it comes to refuel one's energy. Okay, thank you. We'll probably use that later, the orange juice. Right now, let's go and give that bouncer the hot dog. Hey, kid! You want me to shine your shoes? I'm good, thanks. I've got things to do. No, maybe not. Yeah? Here you go, a nice sizzling hot dog for you. You're kidding me? Wrong sauce? You're a funny guy, aren't you? I don't eat that crap anymore. Old Joe hasn't understood that the world's moved on. People are careful about what they eat nowadays. We want beautiful bodies and good health. What? No, you're in the 50s. You, you chain smoke like crazy. It wasn't about. There was nothing. Almost nothing healthy about the 50s. Especially not in the United States. Especially not in Los Angeles. Look at the darling. They got it all figured out. Wait, the diner? The greasy spoon? You can't, be, you can't seriously believe that's better than this good old hot dog right here. I guess you don't really want to go inside then. I do, I do, wait, <sighs> fine, I'll bring you something else, as healthy as a good burger. Hmm, my patience is wearing thin. Son of a... Hmm, okay. Uh, I'll learn more about the bounce eating habits. Okay, so he's, he said about the diner, I mean, but it's closed though. Darling diner. So, sir's an aficionado of the darling. Too bad they're not open for a few more hours. But maybe I'll get some inspiration from their storm for storefront. Let's see. How's this burger better than a hot dog? Maybe... Hmm. Just add some green to the sandwich and he thinks it's the bomb. He's not that bright. He's not the brightest spark after all. Okay, I just need to find some greens and we're good. Find some greens. I mean... The oranges had, uh, right? The, the leaves? Yeah. Hmm, may I take some of these leaves by, by any chance? Leaves? Whatever you want. They mess, uh, they mess me up at the end of the day. The less I have, the better. Oh, thanks very much. I owe you one. You bet. Sometimes solving a quest will require you to combine two objects. This can be done in the inventory. In order to combine objects, you just have to select them. Alright? So we get uh, the hot dog and yes, wait, healthy hot dog, a very healthy hot dog according to the bouncer's taste at least. It's just, okay, that's kind of disgusting, but you know, why not? If I can trick him, I mean, he'll like it anyway, he'll be fine. 
He's not eating healthy anyway, let's let's be honest. That diner doesn't have healthy food. It's a freaking diner in the 1950s. So, where's my breakfast? Ah, now, here's a good healthy meal. Look at all that green. I feel pumped just by looking at it. How is it? Mm, the lettuce is very really good. Where'd you get the sandwich? It's a new place, not very well known yet. But they say it's already a favorite with the lady singer from the Rockets band. Uh, that doesn't surprise me, she looks like a woman with taste. You've earned your admission. I'm not you in. And don't forget, boy, salad is the future. <laughs> right, okay. Seems like there's still some pl uh, still plenty of folks here. The parties at Lem never stop. I hope there's somebody here with their mind still clear enough to remember my man. I'm getting the hell out of the club. 7 a.m. and there's not a decent bottle left. Here and here I was thinking it was a respectable joint, but... Whoa, easy, dude. Hey, what are you looking at? Me? A lush with bad taste, I guess. Think you're smart? Get out of my way, Rube. Whoa. Did he just push me? Bastard. Alright, time to fight. Benny attacks you. Block by pressing F at the right time. Depending on your timing, you can reduce or totally prevent receiving damage. Alright. Oh. Okay. Block twice. Okay. Blocked again. Now it's Rock's turn to strike back. Choose an attack from the menu and hit by pressing F at the right time. Depending on your time, you can maximize the damage done. Okay. So we can punch or kick. Let's uh, kick him. Woo! Nice. Actually, punch again. Damn, nice. And a kick. Whoop. Ah, that didn't, that didn't land. Uh, wait, let's try again. Damn, nice. I'm not gonna take it. Ow! Whoa! Ouch, that was quite a slug. Rock is in bad shape, but don't panic. panic. You can restore Rock's health points by using healing. This skill is only available at the beginning of the turn. You can then follow up with any skill. You cannot do the opposite. Alright, let's heal ourselves. Okay. Nice. Heal three times. Okay. Heal twice. Okay. I have to heal more. Whoop. 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 Nice. Full health. And again heal. Whoop. Whoop. Well, I'm full health already, so... Okay. That was pretty smooth. Now that Rock is in better shape, it's time to strike back. Rock has a special skill, the double uppercut, which allows him to hit twice. Keep in mind, its use during the, the same fight is limited. It is not restricted during the, the, during the tutorial. Alright, three special attacks, the double punch. Whoop! Whoop! Nice! And again! Another double punch! Whoop! Nice! And again! Double punch! Suck it, dude! Nice! Good, the warm-up is over. Showtime. Okay, well, let's do... Oh, he has... Oh, he has full health! What? Okay, yeah, him. How the hell did... Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, I still got hit. God damn it. Okay, it's fine. Yep, double punch him. Nice. Yeah, there we go. Come on, dude. That was quite a sock. But Benny's never alone. Jackie, give me a hand here! I'm here, buddy! This complicates things, but not enough to crush Rock Bailey. Come on, bring it on! A new opponent joined the party. You cannot hit an enemy located in the back line, but they'll move closer once an opponent in the front line is defeated. Try not getting knocked out before then. Ouch, that hurt. Okay, that hurt. Let's just get rid of this guy first. Okay. No, Benny! Hang in there, pal! <laughs> he has it coming to him. You're gonna see what happens when you mess with Jackie. Are you done hiding behind your friend? Suits me. Okay. Let's do... I guess the orange is just gonna give me some energy. Let's see. Okay. 
Oh no. Well, I didn't take the orange juice. I, I got the healing. No, I did. I did take. The, okay, let's double punch him. Nice. Oh, ow! That hurt. Okay. Oh, I can't double punch anymore. Okay, but I can punch and kick. Nice. Ow! Son of a bitch. Let's kick. Kick his ass. Woo! Nice. That's a good kick. That's a very good kick. And that's how you win a fight. Thanks for your help. What goes on outside of the club isn't my business. Uh, I guess. Whatever. I wasted too much time already. Whoa. What the? That was Sunday's voice. Sunday love. I think she's my uh, love interest. Sunday, that scream, was that you? Oh, Rock, it's horrible. His skin, his face. In the phone booth. Gary will explain. The phone booth? Okay, I'm on it. What's going on? Oh, this guy has I like with his hot dog. So many people here, damn. Gary, at least you can explain to me what's happening. You sure did choose your moment to show up. What moment? Uh, what moment was that then? We just found a dead man in the phone booth. Dead? Like I said, death, dead, stiff, leaving feet first. That's all it needed to polish off my evening. Do, do, do we know how he died? I doubt it was all age, but the cops are on the way, no doubt they'll have some ideas about it. And the guy? Who is he? We don't know. No one around here seems to have been with him. Hmm, it seems like too big of a coincidence. You know something, Rock? Does it have to do with your vanishing act? Or with that beautiful shiner you've got? Can't be sure. I'd like to know more before I, I, could say any I would say anything. Oh gee, this looks like the perfect story for the call. Gary works for a newspaper, I guess, the call the call. Young Rock, we're going to play detective. Oh. I suggest we take advantage of this time without the police to make our own investigation. Lieutenant DeFato's a friend, but he can be a stickler for procedure. He won't let us snoop around. Okay, so how do you want to do this, Gary? You seem to know a lot more about snooping than I do. It's not rocket science. Let's question the witnesses, examine the booth, we should be able to find some clues. Let's uh, take stock together once uh, we, we, you've made the rounds. Knights at Zooties just aren't what they used to be. Alright, let's uh, check the phone booth first. Okay, <laughs> alright. He's dead. I can understand Sunday's shock better now. The, the, our guy's not very pretty. Those staring eyes, that foam at the corner of his mouth. Probably the best clues to tell us what happened to him. Yeah. The telephone's off the hook. There's no one at the, uh, at the other end. But probably there was someone at the moment he died. It's a pity we can't find out who it was on the other side of the line. The other end of the line. There's no blood on his clothes. The problem with few details, his clothes are in perfect condition. I doubt he exchanged blows with anyone during the evening. Oh, what's this? His pockets are empty. He doesn't look like he's got anything at all on him. Wolf. Sorry, that's, that's Gary. Wolf. That name rings a bell. Oh, of course! That guy is Wolf Petrosian. Uh, am I supposed to know who that is? Uh, if you made an effort to read the paper from time to time, you'd know, yes. Bottom line, line, he is, or at least he was, one of the biggest dope dealers on the coast. He's one of the only guys I know who's gone as far as using a coven for his business dealings. A coven? How? Under the pretext of making a cartoon about the life of St. Martin, he used the nuns as go-betweens. Uh, go and free of charge, naturally. Huh. A man with a vision. Wolf, we're counting on you. Handle this and come back quickly. A wanted man above all. The photo has been on his trail for weeks. He's going to be delighted. Hmm, delighted to find a stiff. Some people have the strangest lives. Okay. Nice shoes. Our guy had taste. And the money to go with it. 
All right. Lem Hamilton. So that's it for the clues in here. Maybe he was strangled or something. Didn't you see anything from where you were? You mean behind my kit with Lem's piano right in front? You're a rookie, right? Oh, no, sorry. Tell me, did you see the victim during the evening? Kid, I don't even know how I'm going to get home. I, uh, I've had such a skinful. I don't have to say nothing because everything that comes out is going to be just bullcrap. Alright, at least that's clear. Sorry, but, uh, sorry to ask, but did you get to see the man during the event? Sure, I even saw him go into the phone booth. Really? I just wanted to call a friend so she could come get me, but uh, he got in front of me. I said to myself, it's fine Gloria, you're not in a rush, you can wait, especially as he seemed in an awful hurry. Anyway, I waited a long time and when she saw, um, she saw, um, she saw me still waiting, Miss Love intervened. She was just trying to be kind to get him out for me and then she found he uh, bought the farm. Bought the farm? Hmm. Did you manage to hear who he was calling or what he was saying? Hey, it's the Zooty Slammer. If the noise of, uh, noise of the party isn't covering um, up what your neighbors are saying, then you're in the wrong place. <laughs> you're not wrong, lady. Linda, I'm pretty sure that you noticed that poor man earlier in the evening. You're right, Rock. I saw him wandering about the club before they found him. My lord, I can hardly believe it. A death rock at the Zooty Slammer. Our Zooty Slammer. Let's hope it doesn't turn into a habit. Did you notice anything special about him? He seemed kind of lost. It was probably his first time here, but that's just a feeling. He looked like he was waiting to meet someone. I saw him sit at the table a little later with another guy. The other man. Was he by any chance a burly guy in a tan suit? Exactly. Have you started crowd watching too now? The guy who drugged me met the stiff. That can't be a coincidence. It's the victim who is uh, who I really noticed because he seemed so tense. He was trying his best to cover it up, but it's not so easy to fool me. Hmm, perhaps he was worried about his meeting. Nothing else? Not, uh, not specially. They had a drink together, then the other man left a bit later. As for the victim, I didn't see him again until Miss Love... Golly, what a crazy story. And if the guy with the crummy smokes is linked to all this, she's got no idea how much. Thanks for your help, Linda. I've learned a lot. Thanks to you. It's always a pleasure, honey. Alright, so maybe the guy that drugged me also killed this dude. Hmm. Okay, the plot thickens. Beryl, did you know... Rock, where have you been? Long story, Beryl. Let's put it aside. Report on the dead man from the phone booth? Do you have anything to do with this? No, I'm trying to get some more info. Rock, could that uh, have been you in the booth? But I wasn't even... When I think we could have lost you, Rock, I... Well, I'm going to duck out. I think she's uh, she has a crush on me. Mona, can I count on you? I'm all yours, Rock. Did you see anything odd this evening? I saw you were gone. I thought you left without saying goodbye, but I doubt it's got anything to do with it. Hmm... I don't know that I'm sure that I'm as sure as she is. Everything okay uh, on your end, Douglas? Not too shocked? Rock, what do you take me for? It would take more than that to make me flinch. Do you think the art world is less violent, maybe? Well, it didn't seem to me that you came across dead bodies every week. Uh, I'm talking about less figurative violence, Rock. More ly ly lyrical, more diffuse, that reaches your soul before your flesh and uh... Anyway, did you notice anything in particular tonight? I noticed that you disappeared with Sunday at one point. I meant with the man found the booth, come on. Ah, uh, well, no then. Great, thanks. Such help. The bouncers and talking. Sunday, it was you who found the body, right? Can you tell me about it? Oh, yeah, sure. There's not much to tell though, I just wanted to hurry him up a bit so he'd free up the booth. He wasn't making any noise and I thought maybe he'd fallen asleep so I went in. But when I opened the door he was already... he was already dead. And did you notice anything that could have been used as a weapon? No, 
But I didn't touch anything, of course. If a weapon was used, it's still in the booth. But Rock, do you think he was murdered? Well, the only thing I think is that it's been a very, very strange night. Hmm, I'm intrigued. You'll have to tell me some uh, sometime what happened to you too. Whenever you like, as long as it's after I turn 20. Not that story again. Still, I'll bet we'll see each other once again a lot sooner than that. Hmm. Okay, time to wrap things up. Let's talk to Gary. Because he's my, uh... He's my go-to. He's my, my, uh... Detective buddy. Well, that was instructive. I wouldn't, uh... uh stake my bow tie on it, but it seems pretty clear he was poisoned. How can you be so sure? Come on, Rock. Strain your brain a little. I'm sure you can reach the conclusion all by yourself. Alright, what vindicates that Petrosian may have been poisoned? Let's see. He was fine with some kind of... Okay, this foam. Foam on the lips. So that, that would maybe suggest poisoning, right? Yeah, he was found with some kind of foam on his lips. He really didn't look too healthy. But it's true that the foam makes you think he swallowed something that wasn't good for him. And having tested them all, it's not uh, the cocktail served here that would have that effect. Well, so we, we know Gary likes to drink. He has, he was seen... Uh, da, da, da. He was seen having a drink before he died, right? With, uh, with the guy in the tan suit. We know he had a drink with a mysterious man. A drink is the ideal place to put a poison to put poison in. Exactly. If I had to murder someone in the bar, that's definitely the option I choose. Hypothetically, of course. <laughs> right, right. There was no there was no blood. Right, also another clue. Uh in the phone booth. Although, you know, st strangulation could also, you know, result in no blood. But you know, poisoning sounds more more uh, likely. No blood, no sign of a struggle. Well, okay, it would be a struggle if he if he was, you know, uh, you know, strangled. It's hard to imagine he died from a frontal attack. And considering his age and profession, I doubt it was natural causes. Right, on the ground we found an odd message. Right, in his wallet. Yes, also that. The note he was carrying suggests he was here for a job. An interesting note, don't you think? This business to take care of doesn't sound like something innocent. It looks like trouble, I, uh, I agree. Our theory seems pretty solid to me. We just have to see if the cops agree. Let them have the pleasure of managing the paperwork, though. Hmm, right. Oh, the cops? Yep. Police? Nobody move. I mean, okay, you can move. Just don't leave the club, please. Lieutenant DeFato, thanks for coming so fast. It's, uh, it's a nice cause you got there, Nick. You'll have to give me the address of your tailor. Ah, Killen, waiting for something for your for your rag? Trust me, you're going to like the news I've got for you. You know something about the victim? It's Wolf Petrosian. What? Holy crap! Let's not waste time. Everyone get to work. Let's go! Oh well, the Fato's uh, the Fato doesn't hang about. He's got a tough life, especially at the moment. But he's a good cop. He doesn't get sloppy on the job uh, for all that. Well, in any case, I didn't expect you to be in a police lieutenant's good books, Gary. Eh, you have to have a few contacts if you want to hear the stories worth telling. Speaking of which... Uh-huh, if I tell you what happened to me, is it going to end up in your paper? Only if it's a good story. Well, I don't know. But I'll bet it's, it's going to amaze you. But let's not talk here, I'd rather avoid curious ears. In the yard then? After you! Yeah... After you, Gary. Well, after me, yeah. Of course, Rock is gonna be in front. So, if I followed well, you chatted with a guy in a beige suit who gave you a cigarette with interesting taste and effects. You've woken up in a strange place where a beauty wants you to do something which you refuse. You try to run away, but some guys in scrubs seem to have another plan for you, and you, um. Let's just say they stole from me in a very special way. Right. And you were released and brought back to town by a passing cab driver. Only to learn that here we have a dead man on our hands. A dead guy who is none other than Petrosian and who was seen having a drink with your cigarette guy. So, good enough for the call of my story? Are you kidding? It's Diamond! 
A kidnapping and a murder in the same evening? Wolf Petrosian? That mysterious woman? No doubt we ha we are on a big hit. Well, in fact, if my little mishap could not make the front page... Don't worry, Rocky. I'll change the names. In any case, if these two cases are not linked, it's really quite a coincidence. Yeah, that's what I think too. And in the end, I'd like them to be. Why that? Well, it would give me more strings to pull to the son of a bitch who drugged me. Ah, going on a vendetta? I'm in. This smells like a great article. I'd be a fool to pass this up. Well, in this case, it's decided. We're going to find this guy with the cigarettes. And to find out what's going, uh, what's going, on, uh, what's going on down there. Okay, down there? Hm. Between us, we're bound to get him. We have the right motivation. For now, I suggest you go back inside. Just to see what Defato has to say. Alright, I'm right behind you. I like how they, you know, switch play like, you know, first it's rock going in first, or going out first, and then... Right, I think we're done here. Do you have a comment for the call, Nick? You know I can't. But yes, it's Petrosian, alright, and our man was poisoned, that's certain. Uh-huh, exactly as we thought. Sinking your nose into our business again, huh? I promise you, I was just here as a customer last night. Hmm, do me a favor and wait for the official report before you write your baloney all the time. All the same, okay. Oh, if I wanted to write baloney, I would have talked to your men. Hmm, keep being cute and you'll be chasing after your news from my office. Sure, I'll drop by and get your statement later today, okay? You're a catastrophe, Killen. But hey, you know where the house is, Jenny will let you in as usual. On that note, thank you all for your cooperation, but duty calls. Try and find the time to change, though. Catastrophe, Kellen. A catastrophe. Yeah, dude, you're little. You're in a robe. Hmm. So what next? What do we do now? Guys? Lamb? What a night, my lord. What a night. I gotta say, this isn't what I expected when I opened the club. But hey, despite everything, I'm still the boss. Come on, kids, I'll buy you a drink to help you forget about all this. Oh, I won't say no to that. Nice, why not? Drink on the house? Do you feel any better, Sunday? Much better, thanks, Rock. It must be said that being close to you is reassuring. But would you tell me um, at last? Uh, would you tell me at last how you got this pretty bruise? Well, I was off on a great journey that I will let you. I will tell you about one day. Just not today. We could go to our flat to have me take care of you while you tell me all, all about it. Sunday. Well, you see that Rocky's not uh, not in condition, so let him. Thanks, Douglas, but I think I can speak for myself. I know her. She won't leave you in, in peace uh, if you don't tell her everything. It's funny because I'm happy to leave you in peace. Marty Douglas serves you right. Douglas is trying to get with Sunday. The Zooty Slammer, go ahead. What? Jesus Christ Almighty. You really think that... Here? Yeah, you're right, safety first. Godspeed, Inspector. Hey, uh, everyone, listen up, this is serious. The van that was transporting the body has been attacked. You ain't serious, Lem. Oh, when will this ever stop? Didn't Nick tell you anything else? What happened? What happened exactly? Some kind of mob with cars and guns came down on the wagon. Apparently Petrosian's body was the target. What's strange is, after they got it out, they left it on the road and took off. And they're coming to the Zuti now? Well, I got no idea, but considering who these boys were, or are, I'm not sticking around to find out. We're evacuating the club. Everyone out, please. Damn. Wait a minute, Gary, wait. I'll talk to Gary again. Wait, Gary. Gary, wait a minute. Didn't you hear them? Now's not a good time to hang about. Just one moment. Why do you suppose the wagon was attacked? Uh, probably not to get the body back if they meant to leave it on the road after. Maybe, I don't know, to get back something that he had on him? Something that could uh, threaten them? Except we know he had nothing on him, right? What are you driving at? Judging by the speed this mob acted, if he'd had something com compromising on uh, on him, he must have tried to get rid of it. I'm thinking, if I had something to hide, the club was the perfect place. The phone booth! Gee, Rock, 
that's some reasoning, that's some good reasoning. But if you're right, there's a pretty good chance that they're, they're really on the way to the Zuti. There's no time to lose, I'm going to search it. Okay, so the guy hit something? No, no. No. Here. Bingo! I've got something, Gary! What a hunch, Rock! I wonder what he's... It's an envelope! Really? Save your sarcasm for later, I hear noises. Let's run away. Uh-oh. The mobsters? Whoa! Shots fired! Jesus! Well, that was a close shave. So, well, that was Gary. That was a close shave. It was kind of a race, I admit. Do you think, uh, do you think th those were the same guys who attacked uh, Defato's wagon? It's too early to, ta to tell, says Gary. One thing we can be sure of, we rarely, we rarely had such restless nights. <laughs> That's the least you could say. I know I said the nights at the Zuti Slam were memorable, but this is a whole other level. Gary continues, let's see what you got. He grabs the envelope that I've thrown into the dashboard and rifles through it. I quickly realize that it's full of photos. In a flash, Gary turns pale and his jaw clenches. He swallows painfully. Hold on to this, he tells me. I just can't look. What is it? I asked. Photos of operations. He shows me a picture of a guy who looks like a butcher. I won't show you the worst ones. I want you to stay on the road, he says. But... I never imagined you could chop up a human, uh, chop up human flesh like that. It's enough to send the culprit to the chair and put a good many others in the slammer. We're silent for a minute. I don't believe these are just medical procedures. I say. He gives a mirthless laugh. I looked at a few of them, it, and it uh, has a name. It's vivisection, pure and simple. That raises a lot of questions, and I'm not sure I want the answers. I want to know the answers. Well, you have to. But they could lead me to the guys I'm looking for. Right, the guy who drugged you, especially. My apartment is in view. I park and turn off the engine. And I guess that was it, right. Well, I mean, a pretty beefy demo. Yeah, that was the one. That was the demo version of To Hell With The Ugly. And, I mean... Things heated up quite uh, quite fast. I mean, the pacing at the beginning was pretty slow, but then uh, you know it definitely accelerated. So we have a dead drug dealer. We have us like well, well I mean, character who was drugged, missing people who might be related to all of this, op like weird operations, a shady lady, you know, asking me to do stuff, and yeah. Uh, lots of stuff apparently, L lots of stuff going on in To Hell With The Ugly. But that was it everyone, thank you so much for watching. Now if you uh, like the game, you can whistle it on Steam, if you like the video, just give it a thumbs up, it's, uh, it, it, it's easy and quick. And uh, after you do that, please take just half a minute to see the ways to which you can support me so I can continue doing gaming coverage and more for a very long time. Uh, just go to locals, cryptichybrid.locals.com and uh, become a supporter there. It's $4 a month and for those $4 a month, you get tons of perks like early access to videos, support only live streams, you get to decide what I play every Monday on live stream, you get behind the scenes content, you get uh, to, uh, to request topics, you participate in game giveaways, lots and lots of goodies for just $4 a month and you support all of my endeavors under the Cryptic Hybrid umbrella, which at this point include four channels and over 3,300 gameplay videos, live streams, and developer interviews. That was it for To Hell With The Ugly, the demo version at least. Uh, I definitely want to try it when it comes out, but uh, that's 2023, so, you know. Until then, <laughs> thank you again for watching, and have an awesome day.